look this is the trigonometric circle yes but to build it you have a long way very very long way first the trigonometric circle is a circle with the radius of 1 then you find the black angle 0 pi over 2 pi and negative pi negative pi over 2 the blue angles pi over 6 and its opposite 5 times pi over 6 and its opposite 5 times pi over 6 the red angles pi over 4 3 times pi over 4 negative 3 times pi over 4 and negative pi over 4 and the green angles pi over 3 and the opposite negative pi over 3 2 times pi over 3 and it opposite negative 2 times pi over 3. next the point the yellow point belongs to the circle and it can move around the circle this point define an angle positive angle here between pi over 4 and pi over 3 pi over 6 pi over 2 2 times pi over 3 and negative angles here negative 3 times pi over 4 negative pi over 6 this point has two coordinates the x coordinate and a y coordinate the x coordinate is called you see the the blue one here it's the cosine of the angle observe that the cosine belongs to the segment negative 1 plus 1 0 negative 1 plus 1 let us see now the y coordinate the y coordinate the red the green one here it is the sign between negative 1 plus 1 0 negative 1 0 plus 1 0 negative 1 etc and now three important values 1 over 2 square root of 2 over 2 and square root of 3 over 2 you find these values on the y-axis of course but also here below with negative 1 over 2 negative square root of 2 over 2 and negative square root of 3 over 2 the same on the x-axis the positive values here with 1 over 2 square root of 2 over 2 and square root of 3 over 2 and here negative 1 over 2 negative square root of 2 over 2 and negative square root of 3 over 2 and so with this circle you can find for each angle its coordinates that means its cosine and its sine for example the cosine of pi over 3 is 1 over 2 and its sine is square root of 3 over 2 the cosine of pi over 6 is square root of 3 over 2 and the sine 
is 1 over 2. The cosine of negative 3 times pi over 4 is negative square root of 2 over 2. Its sine is also negative square root of 2 over 2. Conversely, when you know the cosine and the sine, you can find the angle. For example, an angle which cosine is negative square root of 3 over 2. Okay? Negative square root of 3 over 2. You have the choice between two angles, this one and this one. I know that it's a blue angle. But now I need the sign. If the sign is 1 over 2, then the angle is the positive one, and if the sign is negative 1 over 2, then the angle is the negative one. Thanks.